Have you ever wondered which algorithmic trading strategy would provide you with the highest gains in combination with the best risk management? Well, in this video I will present you my findings on the NFI5 MOHO trading algo that might prove to be the best trading strategy for your automatic trading. So stay tuned, take the time to click the like button and subscribe to the channel while I start the intro. If you open GitHub and search for the term NFI5MOHO, then you'll find out that a lot of repositories contain this file. There are also a lot of other versions available, but in my case I've tested with this work in progress version. So let me open the code to take a look what's inside. Next select raw and we are good to go. As with some earlier tested strategies, it is also a variant of the Nostalgia for Infinity trading algorithm a black box algorithm that is created by Iteratif and maintained by lots of other contributors. Interestingly enough, there are only 4 versions available in this repo, and I suspect that somebody else had made some personal adjustments. That person unfortunately did not add his or her name to the code, but if you recognize your work here, the creator, the contributors and you deserve all the credits here. I'm just the guy that presents his uh, personal backtest findings to the YouTube audience. Now, there is a small clue on the differences between the original NFIX versions and this specific version, and these are written down here in the code. Apparently, the code has been adjusted to also contain the multi-offset Lambo algo and some optimized parameters. And I think that's also where the name comes from. MO for multi-offset and HO for hyper-optimized. Now, as with earlier videos about the NFIX strategy, I'm not going over all the lines, but I will show you only the highlights within the code. For example, here you can see where the trading decisions are made whether to use or ignore a certain buy or sell condition. And these are the spaces that are prepared to be optimized by the hyperopt command. And after these moving averages there is the trading stop loss setting. Here it says that it's not used but uh, still the setting is set to true. However, uh, I have downloaded this file and I have manually set this to false, so this time you will only see the results without the TSL enabled. Now I also tested this strategy on the 5 minute time frame only, since that was the only time frame this algo could work on. And here a little bit further below, after a lot of more adjustable high prop parameters, there is a custom cell method programmed. Also informative pairs are used, as well as a bunch of informative indicators configured on the 1 hour time frame. And after that there are the normal time frame indicators coded. These informative 1 hour time frame indicators and normal indicators are then used in the populate indicators method, so to fill the data frame that the bot will use for deciding to do buy or sell signals. And after that the real fun begins, because uh, here are the conditions under which a buy signal could be triggered and are defined. For example, this buy condition is enabled when buy condition 1 uh, enable is true, and it signals a buy when several criteria are met. Here the 50 period EMA is above the 200 period EMA on the 1 hour time frame, and the 200 period SMA is trending upwards, and specific safety conditions related to dips and pumps are satisfied. It also requires the current price to have increased significantly from its lowest point in the last 36 periods, uh, the 1 hour RSI uh, should be within a specified range, and the current RSI to be uh, below a certain threshold. And here the money flow index should be below a specified value. Also, positive uh, volume should be uh, available. And this here goes on and on for each and every specific buy condition that is configured here. What's at least equally important here are the exit signals. They also consist of different sets uh, with different rules, although not as many as the buy parameters. For example here, this third sell condition sells a position if it is enabled and also if the RSI is above a certain value and the volume is larger than zero. But before I show you the really surprising results of this trading strategy's performance, I first want to ask you to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the YouTube algo to say that you like this content, and it also gives me a signal that you appreciate the stuff that I do here. But now let's continue with the results I got. So, because I immediately tested this algo with the trading stop loss disabled, I will not surprise you with different results after what I present next. After the backtest I was very pleasantly surprised by these hypothetical results the algo gave me. This trading algo has scored tremendously well on my setup. 
with a win rate of over 90% and a maximum drawdown of less than 15%, this strategy managed to attain a profit of almost 17,000%. 80% of the pairs respond well to the rules of this algo, and all the ratios have very high scores too. Although the Kalmar seems to be a little bit too optimistic here, so keep this in the back of your head. Now let's take a look at the equity curve. By the looks of it, the rules of this algo seem to hold during bullish and bearish circumstances. There are some dips in the curve, but nothing too serious so it seems. The biggest drawdown was around May 2020, and that was also around the time the pandemic happened. And the second largest drawdown happened around the lowest period in the last bear market, so not too much surprises here. This is also reflected by the profits per week and the mean profit and loss curve. Again, the biggest losses happened during last time's bear market, and maybe the strategy can be tweaked to not trade at these moments or so, but uh, it all depends on you after you have watched this video. Next, there are the win rate and profit distribution box plots, and these tell me more about what to expect on average about the trades. The yellow line in the win rate box plot indicates a median win rate which appears to be around 0.85 or 85% suggesting that in an average week the strategy wins around 85% of the trades. The box itself represents the interquartile range, with the lower quartile around 80% and the upper quartile about 100%. And this range indicates that 50% of the weekly win rates fall within this range. Now the whiskers extend to approximately 60% on the lower end and 100% on the upper end, indicating that most of the data points fall within this range. And there are also some red dots below the lower whisker, and these are the outliers. And they represent weeks where the win rate was significantly lower than the general distribution. You could also see these weeks in the previous plot. Here the yellow line in this box plot indicates the median weekly profit. It is around zero, and that suggests that the median week sees neither significant losses or profits. But the box itself shows the interquartile range for profits, which is relatively tight. And this indicates that 50% of the weeks have profits that fall within a narrow range close to the median. These whiskers indicate the spread of the profits, extending from around minus 2000 to plus 3000, showing a wider variability in the weekly profits compared to the win rate. Now, there are also some red dots above and below the whiskers, and again, they represent the outliers. Positive outliers show some weeks with significant profits up to 20,000, while negative outliers show weeks with significant losses, down to minus 5,000. Now, the total hypothetical profit is not the highest found, but there is more than only gains here. Risk management and the way this equity is gained is also very important. In trading, it is always a question of how much risk to take to attain a certain reward, and with algo trading this is not different. Besides, some of the strategies that have these insane performances also have a dark side to them, and uh, I discussed these in the videos and blog posts on my Patreon page. And if you want to know more about what these pros and cons are of these other strategies, then I recommend you to watch these videos and posts. If I compare the individual performance indicators uh, of this uh, NFIX MOHO strategy, then you see that on a lot of these subplots it outperforms most of the other best performing algorithms. To me, some of the most important factors are the profit factor in combination with the profit percentage, together with the applicability on the pairs I intend to trade on. Eventually, other scores like a Sharp, Sortino and Kalmar are derived from all these performances. And if I count all these individual scores up to a total score, then you see that this specific trading strategy has the highest overall score of all the algorithms I tested so far. Now, that is again something I did not expect to see since the last time I found another well-performing strategy. And with this conclusion, I am at the end of this video. A new number one that I can try out on my live trading bot to see if it will make us life-changing money. Now, if you like these videos, then please support me by becoming a patron, and you will get the additional benefit of getting all the backtest outputs, bots, files, and all the other stuff and tests to verify on your own system. Now, please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't done already so. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!